I've always had a, a lot of admiration for the medical fraternity because I myself have been through so many medical incidents. But during this uh, pandemic, the the kind of uh, the kind of work, the kind of concentration, selflessly working towards people, saving their lives, has been so admirable. I I, I keep repeating this little incident at all the places where I've been asked to speak about it. There was a wonderful banner that was put up in Gujarat, I think, uh, which said, "If you find that the temples are empty these days, uh, you know why it is because the gods have shifted to hospitals." in white attires. Yes. That's the kind of sentiment that the medical fraternity has been able to gather as far as this pandemic is concerned. Yes. It's an incredible, incredible job that they're doing. Yes. I've been in the hospital and I've seen how they work. The doctors, the nurses, they don't go home. They've been at it for 24 hours, day and night. They live on the premise. They don't care about their families. They care about the patients. They move from room to room, from ICU to ICU. The, the, the attendants, the staff that, that come and clean your bed and you clean your room and clean your washrooms, just endless amount of hours that they put in without ever being conscious of the fact that, you know, they could be victims. And that is so admirable. We have the greatest respect and regard for them. Not just them, a lot of the people that are like frontline warriors, the police forces, the other people that are working to bring uh, essential foods and services to homes, they are equally at risk, but they are continuing to do their work. And that's absolutely remarkable. So great amount of affection, love and respect for the entire medical fraternity.